Hey, what's going on everybody? So we are going to be switching things up from the garden and heading out to my Jeep. Um, we're going to be, one thing I've been wanting to connect for a while is the light bar. If you've been following with me for, um, since the, since I purchased the Jeep, you knew the light bar was originally on my roof rack. Um, well I have now just, but it was, I took it down because it was just, hum, the whistle was just too much. It was getting annoying. Um, I've been trying to reduce the, um, ambient noise within the, within the box. And uh, so I've put on some lizard skin uh, to go ahead and hype, reduce that, and it did help. Um, but so in order for me to f use the light bar that I had, um, what I decided to do is remove the high lift jack and mount the uh, light bar on top of the hood. And so what we're going to be doing today is connecting it with this Knee Rider um, six gang power relay box. And uh, so far I've been uh, basically figuring out how I'm going to wire in it and will the wiring work, you know, do I have the correct length, etc. Um, so today what we're going to be doing is wiring the light bar to this Knee Rider six gang box. And uh, let me show you a little bit about the box and let me show you the plan before we send it. All right, so I purchased this. Universal six gang uh, pound, uh, pa switch panel relay um, from New Rider from Amazon. Uh, now, for the, all the parts are actually in the Jeep because I've been measuring everything out. But uh, basically, um, so this isn't necessarily a, an unboxing video. Um, basically, I have the option of six options to connect any which one of these. Anything from square lights to round lights to small to the light bar, which I will be connecting today. Um, backup lights off-road, right? As you can just see a whole a mess of them, including the rear light and zombie uh, apocalypse lights. Um, so t today what we'll be doing is I'll be showing you how I choose to um, route the wires into the, uh, well, within the engine compartment and then also to route the wires into uh, the cabin. So let me go ahead and show you right now um, what the plan is. All right, so the first part that was kind of tricky here, let me go ahead and go to wide. The first part that was kind of tricky for me is, um, and I'm not 100% done on this, but this is at least the initial uh, plan, and I may have to deviate from it, but uh, I had to kind of move this horn just slightly, so I drilled out uh, um, my, drilled another hole just a little bit forward, and that helped me move the horn just slightly to where it is now with uh, just enough clearance under there, you know, for the bouncing, etc. cetera. Um, and what, I, what I'll be right off the bat is, this is definitely, I think, Amazon's most inexpensive um, power relay box. So you kind of get what you pay for. I haven't seen anyone complaining too much about it, so I'm going to give it a go. Worst case scenario, I'm replacing it with a better one later. Um, but what I already don't like about it is you have to, the, the mounting brackets are for the wall. You don't have the option to basically mount it to something, which would probably be the majority of inside a compartment. Um, but uh, for me on how my setup is, I would wish they would have had the options in addition to the wall mount, but also to the floor mount. Um, so one of the things that we'll be doing is routing the wire all the way around. I'll be zip tying it all down and then uh, connecting it to the battery terminal right over here. And uh, then let me go ahead and show you how I'm going to go. I'm going to route the, uh, the control line to the actual switch panel. All right, it might be a little difficult for you to see, but uh, right there, the little white is my firewall. Um, under the Jeep here, we're gonna go now to the inside of the frame. What I, my intent is, is basically these wires right here that go up along the um, firewall, that's where I'm gonna basically be zipping them to the same uh, group of wires. I'm then gonna be taking them down here, and, and then you can see right here where I have the um, plug um, t slightly undone that's where I'm going to be routing it in through so obviously uh, so the plug looks similar like this um, but it's currently out so what I'll try to do is uh, basically push the plug as far as much as I can do obviously if I'm water foraging for about uh, greater than about two feet or so then it's it'll probably be coming into my cabin but uh, I'm out here in the desert so water foraging isn't that two options so let me go ahead and show you once I get it in there where I plan to mount it the switch back all right so one of the things I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and uh, remove the carpet and let me kind of show you what we're talking about here 
So that's where I'm going to be coming in. I'm going to route the, um, so basically like right about here, I'm going to go ahead and route the wire. It was raining, so it's wet here. You can see it maybe glistening in the camera. Um, but uh, then I'm basically going to route it up to here. And I plan to put the switch gang uh, panel flat right there. Uh, because I don't really put anything there anyways, and I kind of want to have the ability for my passenger um, to go ahead and uh, flip the switches if, if desired or, you know, just, just so I have that other option, just for whatever reason, it's kind of a backup plan if my hands are busy doing something else. And just to give you a rough idea of what it looks like before I put the stickers on it, that's what it is. Um, I, there is a, it does come with some mounting hardware. I was originally thinking of possibly, you know, removing the... Uh, um, roll cage for a second uh, and then go ahead and mount it at, up here but I don't like how that looks I think it'll just look a lot more sleek um, at least for me uh, my preference is to keep it here I'll go ahead and drill a hole through that platform so it lays so it flushes um, lays flush with right there it was I mounted down and it comes with some let me give you a good view of it and it does come with some two-sided uh, sticky tape to go ahead and hold that down. So once I get that on there, it, it shouldn't be moving. Um, and also, if for whatever reason I need more than six in the future, well then it can easily looks like it will hold probably eight um, and potentially ten if I ever get that hardcore with the amount of accessories that I'm routing through this. So back here at the power distribution panel, what I'm going to go ahead and try to do is I need to see if I can find some angle brackets that I can um, basically t t change these from wall mount and so that I can mount them here onto the uh, onto the uh, wheel well here, um, potentially using some of these existing holes. I think uh, it doesn't weigh too much, um, and I think once I get all the wires and everything secured, I might be able to do it with just one, but the goal right now is to try to get both of them mounted down. Um, if I can, if not, then I'm at least going to do just one. Um, so wish me luck, and uh, we'll be back in a little bit. Um, at least it'll be instantaneously for you. It'll be probably an hour and some change for me. All right, see you then. All right, I'm back. So I went ahead and picked up uh, some of this uh, angle iron slotted uh, uh, bracket. I'm going to go ahead. I need to go ahead and obviously cut it down to size. So I'm going to let's go uh, measure that real fast and then uh, we'll go ahead and cut it down. I also picked up uh, some paint, uh, basically the uh, primer and paint and then also a clear coat coat uh, just for added protection on, on the inside there. So I'm going to go ahead and let uh, this uh, angle bracket go ahead and 
dry overnight. Uh, my cousin came into town, so I'm gonna go visit. Um, what? Uh, so basically, I'll wire everything up tomorrow, test fit this, get everything mounted, and then we'll test it out and see how it looks. But let me kind of show you um, what I was talking about earlier in relation to where I put the light bar. All right, for those who have been following along, you can see where the high lift jack used to be. Um, I've put the light bar. And for those who haven't been following along, that's where my high lift jack used to be. Um, but anyways, where I basically wired it up is um, I just went ahead and went through here through the high lift jack bracket. I uh, drilled down and then I just fed the wire um, right through the top. Hey, what's going on everybody? So when I was editing the video, it was getting just a little bit too long. It's about 25 minutes in total. Um, so for those who've been watching, you know I prefer to keep the details in there. And that's because when I'm looking at other people trying to learn things, I, I like the details, so I'm gonna keep them in there. Um, so what we're gonna go ahead and do is I'm gonna end the video here so I can get it finished, uploaded, and then published tomorrow morning. And then in just a couple of days later, I'll have both videos out um, this week um, so that uh, uh, you're able to see the finished product. All right. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you on the next one.